Hey guys, what's going on? This is Eric with EM Motors and Launch Vans. Um, not the greatest time to do, try to do a video up here, but uh, we have a delivery tomorrow on this beast and wanted to get a video in. Uh, it's super windy, so I apologize ahead of time. Hopefully it's not too horrible in the, in the camera. But uh, anyway, this thing's too nice to, to not do a video on. It's a uh, 2023 all-wheel drive twin turbo, the new four-cylinder high output motor with the uh, nine-speed transmission. Uh, they originally came in, we did a Dream Builder, and then uh, about a year ago, and then, yeah, brought it back to us to kind of finish it up and do a complete build on the inside. And, you know, obviously do some stuff uh, and finish the outside as well. But uh, uh, this color is stone gray. It's the 170 regular length. And uh, yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, let's see here. So we have uh, let's see here. Let's see if you can even hear me. Oh, it's just nice and windy. We got a storm blowing in. Let's see if you can hear me at all. Um, has the hammerhead bumper from CA Tuned Off Road with some uh, LP9s uh, from uh, Baja Design. Warren Winch also has the fog lights upgraded. Uh, with some Baja Design Squadrons, uh, has the uh, Agile Off-Road skid plate under there as well, has an s &B extended fuel tank uh, underneath that you can't see, has Agile Off-Road uh, suspension, the, their rip kit, has OWL uh, steps, has the flatline uh, roof rack, There's their uh, newest one with the drop down front, Fiamma F45 awning. We have uh, four CR Lawrence uh, windows. We have the two T vents in the sliding door in the crew position, and then we have the 10 by 33 awnings in the rear. Ooh, it is nasty out here. Let's see how bad the outside is. Hopefully, it's not too bad. We have uh, Baja Design S2s up in the top. Um, everywhere to give you some good lighting around the vehicle uh, at camp. Got a nice owl tire carrier with a matching fit. Let's see from this side. Short power plug, flatline ladder. Let me just show you the top here. That uh, star mount mount and 12 volt conversion kit is uh, for the Gen 3 standard dish, just so you know. We did install that, but Arsenal wheels with the BF Goodrich tires, the KO2 all terrains. Let me open the back. Look at that thing. <laughs> we got the bug wall screens uh, mounted up here. Um, here's our water mixer valve, uh, or sorry, our water uh, hose uh, with a quick release. Put that thing in there here. Um, yeah, it's too windy. And then, yeah, we have a nice little mixer valve here, and we have another setup just like this in the front, so you can, um, you know, kind of shower or rinse stuff off from the uh, sliding door or here in the back. But uh, have the nice lawn seal, uh, lawn ridge flooring. Looks super, super good. Wheel well boxes with max tracks, 110 and 12 volt power. Back here, we have the uh, CA Vans uh, 
struts to hold the doors open, otherwise it'd be slamming shut. Of course, USBs uh, for your phone. Light switch to control the lights. Super cool. Let's go inside. Let's get inside of this weather. Peter. <laughs> it's windy um uh yeah apologies again it's crazy weather out there um but uh anyway hopefully you could hear what i was saying outside but uh have the factory swivel seat which is nice the s-bar air heater underneath the passenger seat here it's kind of our preference of where we like it and then we do an electric water heater in the rear uh with the water tank and we use the isotemps slim four gallon it works uh, didn't like the hydronic system uh, as much. Uh, plus, you can't. we just like having the air heater up front here. Uh, keeps as much noise uh, away from the rear at night. So for people that maybe uh, have a little bit harder time sleeping with noise, um, having uh, like the hydronic system sometimes underneath the bed, um, was a negative so anyway we like the the uh, isotemp electric with the s bar uh s3 uh, or s2 under the passenger seat there i uh, got the little voltec biometric safe got a nice uh visual for the uh for the water tank so you can kind of see its level lots of l track um for uh tying down your gear everywhere uh, still have some storage. We try to keep as much storage uh, as we can for you and keep the boxes tight with the water and electrical systems. So this one's a little tighter up here. But uh, anyway, try to give you access so you can access fuse blocks, uh, some fuses here in your Victron distributor. Um, but yeah, we can pop these lids off, have access to the to the battery system. Um, this one has full Victron, uh, two 330s, so 660 amp hours at 12 volt. And the little wake speed here. Uh, so we have Nation's second alternator charging these bad boys um, uh, with the wake speed. And then we have obviously uh, Victron solar controller, the Victron servo, um, and uh, smart shunt and then it all comes up to uh, the color touch and you have different screens that you kind of check out uh, whatever your preference is I like this screen here just lets you know what's going on and we still have a little bit of solar coming in you can see we have 129 watts or sorry 129 amps um, coming in because of the second alternator or 1748 watts and then we have the inverter on pulling seven watts and uh, if we were plugged into shore power you'd have uh, that information up in the in the top corner but we have uh, blue C some 12 volt breakers so your water heater and uh, both sides of the van for the 110 Dometic AC remote uh, under cab lighting uh, on a dimmer here and then ceiling lights from the middle of the van and then we also have ceiling lights at entry um, so that's nice have your s-bar heater here 
So kind of a nice little control panel. Oh, and we can't forget the, uh, we switched the Wii Boost, or sorry, the uh, Star Mount, uh, Starlink system, so you can shut it off if you're not using it, if you don't want it to be drawing juice. Um, but, but yeah, check out this, this uh, we haven't really done a nice big build with this color cabinetry before. See if you can kind of see the pattern. Looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think of it. Try to give you a little bit of a better look here. But they uh, turned out awesome. Lots of storage here. Bloom hinges, nice all metal slam latches that work great. We have the Ciroc or Sirocco 2 fan that you can push some air anywhere that you want to. Um, flush mount, kind of make the ace, the Dometic AC that sticks down quite a bit if you don't uh, change some mounting up top. But yeah, we don't want to lose the height inside, so we kind of make it as flush as we can. Some 110 uh, for potential future TV. 110 and some USB power here. Touch light uh, for task lighting in the kitchen. Um, filter, filtered water um, from the Acuva uh, system with a nice faucet here. Uh, the black was out of stock, so we'll get they'll get a black when that comes back in stock. And then yeah, just some more cabinetry here. Take advantage of. L track up here so you can hang um, your packs and all kinds of other gear off the L track up here if you want to. We have uh, the last bed panel kind of stashed to kind of uh, show this, but normally that's going to be covered here. So, biometric safe will be it's bolted to the wall uh, to some bracing. So, good luck trying to get that out so you can store some of your valuables. Um, it's keyed. Or electronic off of fingerprint or codes and you can charge it up so but if all that's dead you have a key that you can access that with so uh, six inch mattress three panel bed they can all bolt in or we can strap them and leave this one floating if you want to and loose to give you more space I guess I mean this is a place to sit down if you want to if you got a big crowd in here trying to hunker down out of the weather kind of like we're having out there but Love these cabinets. Love the counters. Bam. Bamboo drawers. Nice little step to get into bed. Super simple. More, more bigger drawers here on this side. We have our dry flush toilet, which is, oh no, we, they elected to not do that. They have their own toilet, but did the kind of same drawer set up. Have another fuse block in here. Have a cigarette lighter, uh, 12 volt power uh, for anything that they may run. Or if they decide to go to a dry flush trash can, a little nice storage shelf, and then have our uh, water filtration system back here. Um, try to take advantage of this little space for some, uh, this is where I put my soap and scrubbers, uh, water pump, garage light switch here, ball valve to dump your gray water tank there. Um, let's see here. Try to have 110 and, uh, 12 volt and USB outlets everywhere. Um, we have a uh, central vacuum from Dirt Devil, which is pretty cool. Um, there's all their equipment here to plug it in. Three big drawers underneath this bench bed here. lagoon table here mounted to the side that can reach uh, all the seats and then this thing will 
swing out here. Move the table out of the way. So this is another sleeping area, or it's great for dogs. I know they have, uh, I can't remember if they have one or two dogs, but uh, you can use that front seat for people over six feet, but you have this space too, so really a six foot one, six foot two adult could still sleep here. This is a 58 inch uh, bench that we buy from RB Components. Super clean, love them. This is the carbon carbon or carbon fiber look that they have on their website. Uh, it's kind of our go-to. We really like it. Fits fits good into 170. And then we have the vacuum and another cabinet before we get to the bed. So uh, anyway, we like it. Um, let's see here. Overhead shelf uh, from Flatline with their new uh, curtain rod. This uh, insulated curtain is from... Uh, my tour rig so uh, works really good Let me see if I can get this table moved here but just clips here and so you can quickly um, you don't want to put your shades up it's kind of a, uh, a quicker way to just oops do this one-handed a little magnet here um, but you can quickly section off the front of the van for some privacy. Maybe you have your shades up here already and don't want to do the front uh, three um, or less heating and cooling for this area back here. Um, you know, so for pets and just when it's really hot or really cold, you don't have to heat up the front or cool off the front. Uh, and then here's their other insulated shades here, but yeah, this is this is sweet. Works good with Shuxon's uh, overhead shelf. Uh, this insulated window cur insulated uh, curtain from Turig. My Turig out of Colorado. They got some nice products uh, that we like to scoop up instead of trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, but yeah, super clean. Uh, keeps it separated. These guys have some. Uh, floor mats already from uh, um, what is their name drawn a blank they're pretty popular you can do you can have them template this whole floor and do those matching in the rear if you wanted to um, but yeah we have uh, some more shower shower uh, ports here so if you do want to rinse uh, the dogs your feet or take a shower out this door instead of the back you can um, so that's super super nice uh, let's see here what else what else what else so water system is a 35 gallon water tank plus four gallons from the water heater so you can carry 39 ish gallons in this beast um, like I said it uh, has the iso temp four gallon slim electric water heater uh, that we love to use and then yep the complete Victron system here covered that Dometic AC this Dometic RTX 2000 this thing just uh, it draws you know 50 55 amps at 12 volt max uh, depending on the obviously how what the temperature is outside and it cools the best it blows hard we've tried a bunch of the other AC systems Nomadics, um, X2, X3, we've tried the Velet. This is just, this just outperforms uh, all of them, even though the numbers on, uh, on paper uh, don't match up, but it performs the best and the lowest draw. So incredible uh, AC, highly recommended uh, to any of our customers or people interested. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, just doing a shakedown on this video or on this uh, van before delivery tomorrow and uh, just wanted to kind of show it off I love the colors uh, with the we usually do the darker cabinets and they chose this lighter color um, so really like it they have the darker floor too versus some of the lighter floor that we've done with the darker cabinets so I really like the look the warm uh, butcher block that we mill down uh, to one inch here on the counters 
three quarter on the, some of the tables. Um, yeah, it just looks really good. But I want to know what you guys think of it. I always like to see your comments, your opinions. Have the Black Lagoon uh, leg mounted here. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully this gives you some ideas for your van. Or if you want us to do a build for you, reach out. Um, our information, you can find us at uh, emmotorsboise.com or launchvans.com. Um, pretty much the same company, but the build shop and the dealership. And then we have used, um, a lot of used stuff that we do. But we're happy to to build you a van if you'd like. We do a lifetime warranty for the original customer. So if you have any issues, uh, you know, with something in the van, we want to take care of you and not charge you any money. So uh, we try to use the best of the best components. Um, really take our time and build a good solid van. Kind of think about the long term of the van. You know, we want to see these things out on the road in 10, 20 years still still uh, looking and functioning uh, like they should. So that's kind of our goal and if it aligns with you, may not be the least expensive builder, but uh, um, we try to build the best of the best. So uh, anyway, this thing's just gorgeous. I really like the, the two-tone colors, these lighter cabinets. Anyway, sorry about the wind. Uh, it's super windy. Got a storm blowing in. Um, which would be a bummer for these guys. But uh, yeah, it has a really cool. It's a really uh, stop down here. Anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope everybody's getting ready for Thanksgiving. And uh, has a great time with family and friends. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this. You can reach out at 208-853-2886 or our websites that I mentioned earlier. Happy to help or answer any questions you guys have. Thank you for uh, watching. And uh, yeah, take care guys.